Next to arrive, with a prized family item in need of some repair shop expertise, is Nick. Hello guys. G'day Nick. How are you going? Very well, thank you. What have you bought us? So what I've got here is from the UK. Ooh. It's my grandfather's old concertina. That is an absolute beautiful piece, isn't it? How old are we talking? So he's had that since uh, he was a Scottish coal miner back in the 30s and 40s. So I'd say that that's probably 80 years old, probably by now. What was he like? He was very protective of me. If I was in trouble, I'd go run behind Grandad's legs and I knew <laughs> I'd be all right. <laughs> so we'd go, we'd go visit on weekends. And my mum and dad played piano and, and he played this. And very, yeah, very uplifting, sort of happy memories. It was, um, you see his face light up and he had this in his hands. Are you musical, Nick, do you? A little play? bit, yeah. So uh, I played a bit of bass guitar, but so I've never played that. And the reason why I've never played it, as you'll see, is if I show you it. It's got holes in its lungs. That's right. Ah, wow. It, uh, it's not really got the, the lung action to get the, uh, the reeds working. I remember we tried to encourage him to take it to get it fixed. Yeah. But he was quite old in his, his life then and he, he didn't want to part with it. So he mm. preferred to patch it. So you can see there's various sort of medical tapes and the like that are, that are around gaffer. it. A bit of gaffer. So rather than trying to sort of restore it to showroom condition, I'd rather it, it's functional so it's playable. Yeah. Um, and retain everything else, really. You know, it's got my grandfather's fingerprints in it. It's yes, got, of it's got all that years his of tears. usage. Yeah. Yeah. So, I hear. yeah, so that, that would be lovely to keep that. Have you seen one of these before, mate? I have, yeah. My grandfather and his grandfather before that came across on the boats from England with a couple of concertinas, yeah. um, and they're still in the family. Uh, and they're still playable. But I've not repaired any, but I am familiar with the instrument. It holds a, That's great. a place in my heart. It would be really fantastic if we could hear some of the tunes we then heard grandfather play when we were younger. It really used to bring a lot of joy to him. And you know, I'd really like to hear it again. And I'd like my kids to hear it and maybe play it one day themselves. Leather craftsman Aaron has to ensure the new leather for the bellows will make them completely airtight. I'm using kangaroo leather because it's quite a fine leather. It's famous for its structural integrity and the, and the thinness, the workability. Such a wonderful leather. To reduce the leather's thickness, Aaron's using a centuries-old leather skiving tool. This is a French patent. In French, they call it a machine à pâté. It's crucial that this leather is paper thin because we want it to be airtight. So that's down to paper thin. And we're ready to fix it to the balance. So firstly, I'm going to lay this down in the centre and run this around. I can just see the shadow of, of these points through this leather, it's so fine. Now we're going to fold these down nice and tight. The leather's got a natural inclination to, to pucker up, which is not what we want. We want to work those puckers out because that's where the air gets through. We don't want any air leaks here, huh? we want a tight lung. It's crucial this thing sings again. That's the most important thing to Nick. Apart from all of the stories it carries of his grandfather, it has to sing. Nick's concertina spanned three generations with the one bellow, and the leather that I've selected here should easily carry it another three generations. I'm pretty happy with that, folks. You know, it's only five to go. I'm really feeling very excited to see whether or not it'll actually be playable. My grandfather played it, and it'd be nice to see the kids get to play it themselves. <laughs> that is fantastic. When I saw you coming in, I thought that was one of your family's ones. Until you got closer, I didn't realise it was actually the one. That's amazing. Nick, it's been a pleasure, really. Oh, it's just awesome. Thank you so much for that, Aaron. I think Aaron's done an amazing job. It was like no way I would have thought that you could get it fixed from the state it was in. This is one that my grandfather had been playing 80 odd years ago. And a lot of memories come flooding back. And that real sort of unique sound that it's got, it sort of brings back a lot of memories from, yeah, when I was basically Matthew's age, when I was a kid and my grandfather was playing it himself. I'm definitely going to try to start learning to play it a bit have a few cracks at it. It'll be very special to see someone in our family know how to play. Yeah, it would be. 
<laughs> I will hold you to that. <laughs>